What what do you deduce from I deduce, a dev dust? I deduce that we did dig the dev dust. <laughs> Idiots, I'm Corbin. The Phantom of the Opera. He's dead. I don't know why I just did. Well, I did that because yeah, I took yeah, my son to see the Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, yeah I'm ready. Yeah, did it. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Twitter. All juicy content. It's so and juicy. And thank you for supporting us on Patreon. Yes. And follow us on official Twitter account. I almost, I almost sounded like I was imagining Big B doing that. Mm. Instagram. Instagram. And Twitter. And Twitter. Rule number one. <laughs> uh, but today we are doing a movie review of one that you've been yelling at us. Screaming and yelling, screaming and yelling, and yelling and screaming and screaming and yelling. Uh, I have my probiotics, no? They don't pay us to plug this. I just like it. Uh, we watched Dev Dust. <laughs> A 2002 film. It's obviously a directed by the brilliant Sanjay Leela Leela Bansali. Bansali. Yeah. Uh, our what fifth film of his? Yeah. Oh, I need to get my notes. Something like that. And starring <sighs> Shah Rukh Khan, the beautiful uh, Ash Ashwar. Hey, oh, oh, excuse me. Ashwar Ray. Right. My, my, my probiotics are kicking in. Ashwar Ray. Ashwar Ray. Ashwar Ray. Uh, and I believe that's right. I hope that's right. And say this name right. for me, please. Uh, Madhuri Dixit. Dixit. Yeah, Madhuri Dixit. Who plays, uh, I can't pronounce yes, her name, well, but you know who she plays. Yes, she plays the, uh, Lady of the Night. <laughs> <laughs> you want to read the synopsis for me? I do want to read the synopsis very quickly. After his wealthy family prohibits him from marrying the woman he is in love with, Mm -hmm. Devdas Mukherjee's life spirals further and further out of control as he takes up alcohol and a life of vice to numb the pain. One could say he's like you. He gets used to alcohol. That's true. <laughs> he gets used to it, which, hey, it's injurious to your health. <laughs> That's true. Um, <laughs> but uh, yes, so this will be a 100% spoiler review because you've all, you've seen, all it, seen it. And if you haven't, leave and go see it. Yes. But. Now, get into the review. Yes. This film. Brum, brum, brum. I'm very, very interested to hear what you have to say. I'm very interested to hear what you have to oh, say. Oh, look at us. Interested in what each other has to say. Well, no, not really. No. I, I take that back. That's true, me too. <laughs> <laughs> this film was a huge mixed bag. Actually, mostly... Oh, good. We're going we're gonna to be on different pages. I can feel it. No, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, mostly, like, good, but some despicable. Uh, aspects to it. Well, you're talking about in the story or no in the film in the film. Oh, wow Okay, yeah, we're gonna be on different pages. <laughs> we're gonna be on different pages. Go uh, ahead. The, what did you think? No, 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 I want to hear go elaborate. I want to hear more of what you have to say <laughs> Tell me what you thought about it. Here, this is gonna be fun. Tell me what you thought about it. I think it's a masterpiece. I think it's a masterpiece in terms of Everything outside of most of the acting really not and this is where, this is where uh, you'll you see our differences, I suppose. But not Shah Rukh Khan, not uh, Ashwarya Ray, okay, and not uh, what's her face, Madhuri Dixon. Who, um, so what, like three people in there that you didn't like? No, I love them all. Yeah, no, 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 no. I know you love them. I I just happened to randomly pick the number three. Yeah. Um, um, and we we could get into more because I don't want this to start off just me, hundred percent bashing because it was putrid. Uh, some of the <laughs> acting that was going on. But and that's why I think it's very interesting. It's because, such a, a, a weird film to me because normally if there's that bad of acting, I cannot sit through a film and enjoy it. I cannot do right, it. Right, right. It, that is the main thing I watch film for is for acting. That's my favorite part of it. Is because I'm an actor and so it's just that's, that's why I go into films and I love film is just to watch these actors act. That's why I think this is a brilliant film mm. because what, uh, despite a lot, and I don't know how it happened <laughs> because he's such a brilliant director. This guy, this Sanjay, yeah. has more mastery of color and shots than almost any director I've ever, ever seen. seen. He is, I wrote this at one point during the movie, <laughs> he is the director of love and light. Yes. God. Unlike anything I've ever this seen. This was just as beautiful as Padmavat. Pastrami Masanani, yeah. but different because it's so old, it all had yes. to be practical. It's, it's, um, 
It's funny because I sim let's since we're on this, let's let's talk about his direction first because I want to talk about the direction. We're going to talk about the acting for sure. I'll talk about the acting because um, that's going to be when I dig in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that, as usual, did yeah, it's going to be at least twenty five minutes at least. So, um, having seen his other, especially Pablo Vada, Baj mm -hmm. I saw two things simultaneous. The first thing I saw was his growth that we've seen as a director with his visual mastery because yes. he's a master in this film, but he's become an even more breathtaking, like I've stopped, as you know. I'll be watching a film of his and I have to stop oh, it too and go. I can, I'm going to gush over one, like I, I out loud said, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I that, think you can know it was during one of the songs where she just changed from, I think it was red, and then she like did like a twirl and she became green. Became green, yeah. And the emerald. Yeah. Yeah, you know and what? It had to be practical. You know what was a whoa moment for me that was another practical moment? Because that's the other aspect of this is I not only saw his growth, but I saw how much he had to do very practically, even though he had a very big budget yes, for this. Yes, obviously, yeah. He still did so many practical things like when Devdas comes to her and she, the first time she's like out in the moonlight to meet him with her lamp next to her and mm -hmm. she's asleep. Yes. He does a shot that's just movement of light through stained glass. Oh yeah, I love all the stained glass parts. And you see him by her and you don't see the camera moving as much as you see the light bending through the freaking yeah. great. Yeah, this is this was just like um, Bastrami Mastanani and Padmavad in terms of you could watch this just in silent, which is one of the things that I was like, I actually almost wish this was a silent film. It could because have been. the one thing that was ruining it for me was well, a lot see, of that's where, acting. And that's where I have something to say about that <laughs> when we get to it. But, I, I, but like you could literally just watch this thing. The way he shoots it is... I've never, seen my notes, a, I've never seen a director do this and have the mastery of color like yes, this. Yes, yes. Because it's, it's, it's old school shooting almost in yes. terms of like old Hollywood, old whatever. But it's obviously they didn't have color. And so, right. no, <laughs> but okay. the mastery of his shots, the creativeness of his shots, but then the symmetry and yes. the color. Yes. Is, I was almost more blown away by this than I was uh, in terms of that aspect than I was Bashami Masani and Padmavad because yes. he had to do it all practically. Yes. None of it could have been computer generated. <laughs> right. So, right. Right. Yeah. That's why it's a little more impressive. It's very impressive to me. And he, let me, uh, um, every, this is one of my notes. Everything about this film floats like a sliver of silk on a breeze or smoke from a candle tip. Wow, you're just a little poet there, aren't it's, you? It's <laughs> it was the way it felt. Mm -hmm. And the way he had everything balanced with the tempo of the film could have in this, this here's I also wrote this in my notes later on where as the 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 um for visual bard watch and header Mm -hmm. That is his, you know, our Beethoven and our Mozart. That's his, to me, this was Sanjay's masterpiece. Mm -hmm. And just like as I was watching Header and thinking to myself, this is so on a fine, delicate place that can go so wrong at any place. I felt that with this and it never did it for me. Um, I can't wait to talk to you about the acting. But, but sticking to his and the whole team he puts together, mm -hmm. okay? Let's talk about, let's just talk about costuming. Oh. I mean, when she, shook, toward the end, when she is in this, I have a picture of it. Goodness gracious. I'll put it on the screen. Oh, yeah. Just the vivid I had to colors. stop it. The purples. The, the vivid colors. The, the, it, was, it happened with a lot of their dresses. Oh. Um, but it just, it was an accent to what was going on around them. Yes. And everything complemented it. Yes. Uh, even with what um, uh, Shah Rukh Khan was wearing sometimes. Yes. Um, even when he first showed up, the British, mm -hmm. I mean, the attention they have to all of the detail in the costuming, like everything he does, it's just. And, and we could talk the about best. This, the, the score. This, uh, I think, uh, I think has the best songs, <laughs> like in terms of musical number songs, not, not, not like. Behind them, like well, even the score underneath throughout for me. No, was I'm just yeah, but Oscar like, level. Well, you know, like um, Uri has um, like, yeah, 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 like background music, which right, is different. Right. These musical numbers, I enjoyed them. I almost didn't want them to end, which is very strange for me. Every single time one came on, I was like, oh, good, we're back. Let's oh. go back to the acting now. Yeah, we will. We will. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, we will. Uh, but like every single, I enjoyed the song we reacted to even more. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I lost my mind when that uh -huh. came on. I was I was waiting for it. Yeah, me too. Like, when is this gonna come back? Because I enjoyed it even more because we had the context behind it now. Yeah. Uh, and we knew who these two actresses were. They're both freaking brilliant. Yes. Obviously, we didn't notice them. Obviously, in that thing because that's just the song, and we couldn't write. We didn't really know their acting ability. Yes, they were both beautiful women. Yes, um, but they there was new songs in this, like ones with uh, Shah Rukh Khan and that and then the, 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 the alcohol song, yeah. the drunk song. Yeah. That, that was that fantastic. One was real, real good. I think has my favorite overall just musical numbers of any of the Indian films we've seen. Yeah, and my other favorite. I loved every single one of them. My other favorite thing about this, and I wrote I wrote this down in my notes as far as. Um, I like, and maybe even wish we'd seen it even a little bit later in this regard. Because we've been so passionate about becoming immersed in India, mm -hmm. and Indian culture, and Indian history, and Indian film, of all the films we've seen, this one felt the most deeply Indian in terms of everything. I wrote, uh, this film is deeply, deeply Indian. It is to me the most richly and deeply Indian film we've seen thus far. It simply drips with everything that is so lavish, lush, and rich about India's culture, spirituality, poetry, history, legend, and, I, and I'm sure we don't even comprehend even half of it. Mm -hmm. It just is, I was overwhelmed with how much it just was like, if you want, and I don't know the average American, including us, if, if I had seen this as like my first Indian film, yeah, uh, I it would be wasted on, uh, I think an American, only people who are familiar enough with Indian film, I think, I agree with could you, appreciate which is one this. of the issues I had with the acting. Which is why I didn't have an issue with the acting. <laughs> no, that's why. Yeah, that's why, that's why I, I didn't. Okay, so you want to get into the acting? Yeah, sure. Way. Let's get into the acting. Uh, you, you started off the film, and I almost out loud said, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I can't sit through this for eight, uh, three hours. That's funny because I <laughs> almost out loud said, oh, okay. Yeah, but that's because you know. See, that, that's, <laughs> that's the issue <laughs> with it. And, and it's not with, like I said, it's not Shah Rukh Khan. It's not with uh, Shwari Ray. Yeah. And uh, what's her name? M Maduri. Dixit, who yeah. I think these were the best two in the Ashwari uh, Dixit and Ashwari uh, Ray. Uh, yeah, Shwari those Dixit. three carry the film, um, their performances and, and they, the character. They sometimes had the over, -drama uh, over melodramaticness, sometimes. Yeah. But it was very rare for these three. And see, that. Uh, but almost everyone else, you can name any other character, and I would have almost hated everything they did. See, for me, outside of when they were in songs, because it fit. It okay. Was, it was like they were doing a play. But you can't act, you can't do stage acting in a film. It does not work. Well, here's where you may find out something. Here's the first thing that comes to mind. Mm -hmm. I wasn't thinking about this when I watched the film. It's just coming to mind right now. Mm -hmm. So, in A Streetcar Named Desire, mm -hmm. you have the juxtaposition of two completely different performances. Oh, trust me. With Blanche and Stanley. And those, not only, those two characters and the way those actors portrayed those people she completely carries with her, and she has to because it's the character, the overdramatic, the melodramatic, the silent film style of acting, and Brando was pure realism. Raw, unadulterated realism. Guess which one I liked. Of course. <laughs> my, my preference when I'm watching a film and seeing a story is to see something believable in the same way that with visual artistry like painting, I like realism. I like to see a Norman Rockwell. That will blow my mind compared to something abstract. And that, for whatever reason, that's just me. Well, I love abstract art. And I don't favorite. dislike abstract. That's my favorite. I don't dislike it. But realism for me is what captures me and pulls me, especially the, the suspension of disbelief, correct? I mean, it's hard, to, it's hard for me to watch old school style acting before method and believe what I'm seeing. This had an amazing capacity for me, and I think it's because I accepted it at the beginning. I accepted the fact that this was going to be more stylized than realism in the acting. I don't think it was bad acting. I think it was a choice that Sanjay allowed the people to make and did it. I could be stretching this. I'd love to sit down and talk to this oh, man. I would love to. Uh, because he's taking this from other material. He's taking this from a book yeah. that in my, I, I, I wonder how much was lost in translation because we had great, my subtitles were conveying so much of the poetry, but I'm sure we got lost. Yeah. 
this is about as grandiose, over the top, pure romantic love expression that I don't know how it could be conveyed. And I loved that, and this again bespeaks the pure Indian nature of it and, and the evolution of Indian cinema because Indian cinema has evolved with method acting yeah. at a different it's pace. Much different pace. Much different much pace. Much more recent. Much more recent. Yeah. This is an interesting blend in the same way that A Streetcar Named Desire was. And I don't, I don't think people would have a problem, at least I don't, I didn't have a problem with Blanche being as overdramatic and melodramatic and seeing that pull. I, I actually find the acting in this that isn't realistic, that is more of the overdramatic, deeply endearing for me. It didn't, it didn't pull me away, but I do understand why you didn't like it? No, I don't. I, 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 for me, I, I freaking loved every aspect of it. I, like I said, I, I thoroughly enjoyed the film. If like this was like, if it didn't have this over dramatic acting in it, it, it would have been a utter, and just one of my favorite films we've seen so far. But it, I can't because of how bad some of the acting was. Yeah, see, for, and this, I don't, for me, it's and I don't the, understand it's way, it. way up. Because I am I was thinking, I was like, is it maybe it was a, uh, a stylish choice by Sanjay to do this, but it's only some people. For some reason, it's not the main three. They're all, most, for the most time, they do have some moments. For the most time, they're usually grounded. Mm -hmm. These three actors. Yeah. But didn't you find for... But, a, like, it started out this way. A right. completely unbelievable way of saying... It was garbage. I love it. It was garbage. <laughs> <laughs> and I hated it. I, I bet you also hated how much they're telling us what's happening versus showing it. hundred percent. Like, like, oh my, it, my tempest has returned. And, yeah. Oh, oh I, I hated just, it. Oh, I, I especially it. hated, I think you heard she was the sister-in-law. She was the one that kept, kept trying to blackmail him for some reason. Yeah. I didn't really get why she didn't like him so much. Right. Um, but she was like almost the worst because they made her like Sanjay made her out to be the villain like right from the beginning because she would come on screen and then you would see her and she would go mm. yeah and yeah. I was like what are you doing yeah this is not a soap opera but it kind of is yeah but I don't it, that's not good film the, nobody, nobody thinks nobody is. nobody thinks soap operas are good acting and nor should they be in no film. no 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 it's not it's soap opera I I don't believe it's soap opera in terms of it being because on soap operas you do have some bad acting. You don't have, not always the case. There's, there's actually some good acting on Usually not so And this is, it, it, again, for me, I think, and I would love to, I need to, I wanted to read more of the history. I think this film is a big bridge in the same way that Streetcar was, as well as Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. Mm -hmm. Those two films in American cinema are a transition period for the world of actors, where it went from one era to the next era. I think this is probably, and one of the reasons why Shah Rukh Khan is the guy yeah. that they talk about who bridges old Bollywood to the new. Mm -hmm. Because this film for me is like Streetcar. It's the film that I think, based on my limited knowledge, takes Indian film from what it used to be and it's more... Because Indian film, like American film, takes from it the history of stage and live performance. Well, Indian live performance is thousands of years old. So they've got a lot... Even, even the dancing styles... Mm -hmm. that they do are it's so old. So for me, I felt like this was a beautiful, co a congruent combination of old school and new school coming together that didn't bother me at all. Yeah. yeah. Hey, here's what I'll say about it. Is, uh, like, right when I saw it, I, was, I, I did almost the exact same thing you said you did. I had to adjust my brain. Right. Like, okay, right. This, is, this is what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> and it did get a thousand percent better, but I think there's a reason for that. Yeah. Uh, it's because, obviously, they, in the beginning they were happy, so for some reason they thought they needed to be over-extravagant happy. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, I still don't get it. But, the, obviously, the longer it went on, the sadder well, it got. And yeah, so the smaller people usually get when they're sad. Yeah. And so it, 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 I think that's why it got better for me. But also, it's because of Sanjay's brilliant. Obviously, the entire time... Like normally, if this film had this, uh, like a film had this bad of acting, I can't, I can't enjoy it. But because Sanjay's directing, music, um, shots, the the costuming, the songs, and to the main three's acting, yeah. kind of saved it. But if anybody was on screen other than the main three, 
I was I was usually always taken out almost immediately after a song. Okay, but let me ask you this about this. We're gonna stick on the acting for a second. Let me ask you this. What we've come to learn about Indians, mm -hmm. right? Everything about them, it's why I love you so much, yeah. is larger than life. Everything. Everything that they do, their anger, their happiness, their passions, their food, their colors and their clothing, they are celebrators of life to the extreme. You've seen what they do when a trailer comes out in a movie theater. Okay. They lose their minds. Confetti and instruments and screaming still people leave it horse. still doesn't mean that the acting can be excused because they're bigger because it's it, like you could be bigger and be believable the what's his name uh, the I don't know why I'm forgetting his name um, uh, Scarface uh, Al Pacino thank you <laughs> that man is as big as you can get in terms of acting and he is always believable uh, he, no it's Jim Carrey is about as big as you can get in acting yeah, and I have a problem with this. Yeah, exactly. see, and I love Jim Carrey. Yeah, well, I love Jim Carrey <laughs> and his comedy, but yeah, I, I don't. I don't think he can do serious performance. Well, at least I haven't seen his new stuff. But well, no, that's it's that it's that um, for me. And again, it may just be because, because I'm just so in love with India. In turn, and not saying that you're not. That's not what I mean by that. I mean it. What I mean by that is the, the, lar <laughs> the largeness of expression. I'm totally enamored. I, but, I yeah. understand. I understand that, and I get it. But I, it still shouldn't take the bigness. Still shouldn't take you out of the moment. Yeah, that as, a, as most of the acting did. No, and like I always go back to, for example, if you were watching, if you knew something was definitively non-real, like like I always go back to this because it's the first thing that pops in my head is Kabuki theater, because Kabuki theater is way over over the top. Mm -hmm. You would be you wouldn't be thinking about the realism that's supposed to be in it. I think there's a there's a and I'm with you in this. We have a presupposition that when we're watching a film, that it must draw us in and be believable because that, it, it, but I love being pulled in another direction that says, you know what? What if we're going to do something here, abstract in a way, that pulls it into a direction that, and it's totally well, that not just make, forgivable, but celebratory. But that me. would make sense if they were all like that. The main three were not like that. I know, but there again, it's like streetcar. It's like that's it's a like it's a blend. Two, these two females right here, yeah, put on such brilliant performances. Ashwari uh, Ray is just freaking brilliant. Her eyes are. She was born to be on screen. So amazing. She was created she, to have her face on a movie yeah. screen. She is just so beautiful. Her, her eyes are so captivating. Yep. Uh, and all that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah. So then I don't want to dig on the acting too much, so... Um, no, but I get it. But, yeah, the, you can let us know what you thought about it. Um, but I, I do want to talk about the ending, because I loved... Yeah, I knew it! I loved the ending. I knew you would! <laughs> I hated the ending, and I said, Corbin's gonna love the way this ended. Oh, I loved it. Oh, no. And I'm surprised all you loved it with how much Indians love... I happy, hate that ending. Happy endings. Oh, oh I was so happy. <laughs> you pig. I was so <laughs> happy at the end. Because I was, I was so happy to see Pyro <laughs> grieving and knowing she'd live the rest of her life without her true love. <laughs> yes. No. Uh, <laughs> I did. And I was so happy. I am guessing this is the, the actual story. Of yeah, the, from the book. From the book. Yeah. Um, that, that he, Obviously, we did not know the, how this was going to end because we have not read the, uh, or seen No, we haven't read it or films. seen it. Right. And I do know, so little maybe, side note. Maybe we, that's why you liked it because you've actually read the story before. We do know that this is not the first film adaptation of this. It is the third and that there is a Bengali <clears throat> version of this film which would be really important to people who are Bengali because this story is a deeply Bengali story. It's gotcha. deeply, deeply entrenched yeah. in that. But, um, yeah, I, I so, love the ending. I love how um, unhappy it was. Um, and I, I, by the way, I say I hated it because the, 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 the romantic in me wants everything to be happy and then live happily ever after. Mm -hmm. uh, but I also know that life doesn't work out that way. Mm -hmm. I knew you'd love that. Mm -hmm. And I, wanna, I, I know the answer to this question, but for me, there were two moments that moved me to tears. I know there were none for you. No. You were probably smiling at the end. Yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah I knew it. I was very happy. I was so like, when, thank you so, so much says, for doing that. <laughs> <laughs> so when he says, Paro. Mm hmm and the lamp goes out. Oh yeah, brilliant. You were cheering, you were like, yes. No, oh, I was happy about the directing. Yeah. I was like, that was brilliant, Sandra. Brilliant directing. Yeah, As was. Multiple moments that I've said that, like, I was like, this man, he knows how to, he knows how there to was a, there was a There was a passion of the Christ moment mm -hmm. at the end. And it's a flashback running moment. And that's oh. what I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where she's running to him, 
calling his name, ugh. And it flashes back to when she was a little girl running and calling to him. Mm. As she's running to him out there, uh, which is the flashback moment where Mary is running to Jesus yeah. and she remembers him falling and she's running. It had that same level of impact for me. Gotcha. In terms of the... And I love moments like she just knows he's out there. Yep. You know, that, that they're linked. Even when he's on the train, she can just sense. And when he is bleeding and she is bleeding this almost like twins yeah because those kinds of manifestations happen with twins yeah um, i love that's one of the reasons i actually loved the ending is because i almost didn't forgive him for for some reason hitting her just randomly i know in the head with the thing yeah i was yeah. like what was that <laughs> like he wasn't even mad <laughs> he was just like no hmm. which but poof. what that <laughs> okay that went like another thing on my notes that's what I mean by this being so richly Indian. I, I guarantee that moment, I think there's probably a thousand moments where they're doing something like, they're singing about Krishna and they're talking about certain things and referencing certain things that are so steeped and deep mm -hmm. in Indian culture and history and legend and writing that we, I think we barely brushed on it and that this thing for the connoisseur, it's like, there's certain wine, no kid's gonna drink a wine, right? And no one's really gonna appreciate wine until you have broken down all of the elements in a t and you can tell the difference between the tannins and the sugars and know the processing and you can differentiate between the Sauvignon Blanc and the Chardonnay and you know the f aromas and fragrance. That for me is, this thing is so rich and lavish and full of India. Mm -hmm. I, I, I guarantee that moment uh, when he hit her in the head and the symbolism, because uh, immediately I was aware of the fact of the yeah. red on the scalp. Yeah. Uh, I just, I don't think it was, a, but just, it does appear to us as just a random hit in the I head. just didn't understand it. Me too. Like, because when we watched Kabir Singh, um, people said this was like a, a new Dev Doss. They, they, I'd seen those comments that said it. And I, I saw some similarities between uh, the, the love. Kind of, yeah, the, the love. Um, and then obviously he just randomly hit her. Kabir Singh was out of like anger and it was like in a right. moment uh, that he, obviously we talked about that. He, I think we, he deeply regretted. Yeah. It was just, it just seemed so random. Almost. Random and incongruent. Yeah, yeah. I was like, what, like, what even was that? <laughs> like, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't see the build up to, to him like. No, but again, I think it has, it has. And then he symbolism. was like happy about it. He was like. I know, cause I think there's a I symbolism. Was the moon. No, what? I think. There's a, there's a, I remember one of the first moments we had watching that I realized what I was watching meant something, mm. but I didn't know what it meant. Mm. And that was in Padmavat, when he's about to go out and fight, mm -hmm. and she has said, if you die, I'm dying too. Mm. And I'm going and to... Found right. Right. And there's the moment where she is um, giving him the cloth, and he's putting his handprints on the cloth. I knew when they were doing it, that I didn't know what they were doing, but it meant something really deep. Mm -hmm. And we found out later from Stupid Babies, they're like, oh yeah, that is exactly his way of letting the whole world know that if I don't go back and I'm dead on the, the, the battlefield, she will show that to everyone, which she does. She walks with it in her arms at the end. Mm. And it's her way of showing the world, my husband and I agreed that if he dies, I die. And I'm going to go to my death with his acknowledgement and permission, which she was supposed to do or it would be dishonoring to her. Mm. I, I think something like that happened with literally her, him smacking her in the head. It just seemed weird to me. Yeah. <laughs> it just seemed a little strange to me. But yeah, like I said, I loved the ending. I thought, I thought it was brilliant that they didn't end up even, like he, I knew she couldn't even back. embrace him. Yeah. And I was like, yes, yeah, the door closed. Just end it here. <laughs> end it now. And they did. And I was like, yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs> you sick of uh, I want to see if I have anything else in my uh, notes. Uh, yeah. So that, um, was, that was really good. So I, like I said, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it regardless, like even even though there was that one aspect of it, the, not the main three, but almost everybody else is acting, I, I despised. Um, oh, two, two things I, I wanted to remind. Um, uh, uh, I'll mispronounce the character name of uh, um, Chandramukhi, mm -hmm. the courtesan, right? The mm -hmm. lady of the night. Yes. She reminded me a lot of, of the role that Priyanka plays when she plays Kashi in Bajirao. A little bit. In terms of She's just trying to love this man that she loves, but wants what's best for him and is kind of, you know, obviously not the one that he's in love with, 
um, just a little bit. I had that same kind of empathy for her in a way. And the other thing I just got to say is the, the, the musical number in this, the Dolore one, and the musical number with uh, Dapika and Priyanka in Bajiram, mm -hmm. I just, there is nothing more beautiful than watching Indian women in those beautiful clothing doing those such beautiful little delicate little things where they'll just come in for a close-up shot and all they'll do is a little head move and like a little eyebrow raise. Oh, yeah. It's just enchanting yeah. to me. Oh, I loved it even more the second time. It's, it's, it just, so it's just, I don't think a woman could be more beautiful yeah. than, than doing what they do in those numbers. Is it's Jackie, so pretty. Jackie Shroff, is he Tiger Shroff's father? Yes, sir. Is it? I believe you are correct. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. Cool. Yeah, well, I would, I would give this... And it's only because the acting. I'd give it a B plus. Yeah, for me, it's, I, it's A plus masterpiece. I, this is up there for me with Header. I can't put it in A because of the acting. Oh, man, no. This is, this is um, to me, of the movies we've seen. It's way too melodramatic by most of the acting. I have many films of their... I have many films that I love. But here's the thing. You would show somebody who hasn't seen uh, Indian films Header, right? Yeah, reluctantly. Well, it, it depends on if they like acting, of course. And they have to know. See, here's here's but one of the you, drawbacks. You cannot show this to somebody who does not know Indian. Stuff. True. And here's another drawback. We know the source material for Header intimately. Yeah. We don't know the source material for this. This is our first exposure to this story, and it began as a but as a, even, as a even, literary. Piece. Even still, if you don't you didn't know the story of no. of hate of um, Hamlet. You could follow that. Somebody could follow that. It, well, it's easier. Depending on if they like easy watching that. Because it's a contemporary telling. That's mm -hmm. why. It's contemporary. You could catch somebody up on header real quick and just let them know, hey, this is an adaptation. But even still, Padmavat and Vasrami Masanani, you could also show those before you could show this right. to somebody who does not know Indian film. Correct, because this is so deeply Indian. I would not recommend this to somebody without either one of two things happening. I would tell them, do yourself a favor and watch Indian film for like four or five months first. Mm -hmm. then enjoy this. Mm -hmm. And maybe watch a couple of SRK films and watch some Sanjay Leela Bansali films first, mm -hmm. then watch this. Or let me sit next to you and we can pause it and take six hours and I'll explain as much of it as I can as we're watching so that you can really... It would be like taking someone who's never been through like a six course meal of foods they've never had. They've never had oysters on the half shell. They've never had lobster. They've never had uh, different wines that are paired with their foods. They've never had a chocolate souffle. You would want to be there with them and explain the nuances of. I totally agree. This is yeah. not just go watch this Indian film. That's one of the reasons I can't give it an A. I, oh, it's a masterpiece. Outside of everything, besides, um, not the, once again, not the main three, but everybody else's acting, uh, I thought everything about this film was brilliant. Yeah, I, I, I loved, I, and I loved everything, I thought, including those actors. Everything about this film was brilliant, um, outside of. Basically everybody else except for the main three. Yeah, and I, um, I, 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 I <laughs> now come on. Didn't you even? Because we're gonna be here for an hour. Mm. Didn't you even like the? There was a change that happened with the supporting people when, like I said, it got better, but it was still. Paro's Paro's mom shows up thinking she's celebrating the fact mm. that Dev Dasit and her daughter are gonna be married, and they pull a fast one on her. Mm. And she gets really angry and starts ripping into them, and they rip into her. I felt that that was a pretty real moment for yeah. characters that had previously been very grandiose. And like I said, it got better because they had to be smaller because they were sad. Most people aren't extravagant when they're sad. Outside of when they go, <laughs> but, yeah. But so that's why I said it got better because the film got sadder, and so people have to be smaller when they're sadder. All right, which is why you like sad films. Which I do, I'll do it. Because then people tend to be more real. Well, I like sadness. Yeah, you do. Sadness. That's why darkness. you don't cry. No, I don't. Because you prefer to be in the dark. <laughs> sadness. Darkness is fun. 